What up, my friends? It is me, Mr. Squid Whiskers, and I was actually correct to something. We're back in Undertale, and at the beginning of the last video, I mentioned how when we started, good old Toriel was sitting here all peaceful and stuff. Although, is she was she sleeping before? Is she now sleeping and wasn't sleeping? I don't know, whatever. But I suggested that once we finally finished off uh, Papyrus's character arc, which uh, finishes by you going with, on a date with him, pretty hilarious but now we have both not only papyrus but sans up there so now that his brother is safe he feels safe enough to trust you too but we're back in it uh last episode we met the new is character undyne uh I'm, i am just gonna do this recap real quick don't don't if you want to skip it you can skip it this is totally for you and not just because i have to remember what the heck went on but last episode we met the uh, newest character undyne who was very scary and was hunting us down and then knocked us off a bridge basically and we ended up down here we had to fight some random dummy doesn't make any sense but you know what it's fine it's fine it was a great fight one thing this is completely pointless. Actually, one more thing. In in that bite, in that fight with that dummy, Napstabook saved us. That little guy from uh, early in the game. But now he offered uh, us to come to his house. But first, we must talk to this little bird who wants to carry you across this like very small gap. So, of course, I would love a ride, my friend. Thank you. Now listen. Just listen carefully. Just. This theme plays in one section of the game, right here, as this tiny little bird, how is this working, his wingspan is not wide enough to carry this kind of weight, takes you very diligently across this disproportionately small gap, and it's called Bird That Takes You Across the Disproportionately Small Gap. Dude, you're kind of hanging out, you're living on the edge there a little bit. But, now we have to go through that entire sequence again! Now. It's time to go visit Napstabook, because he deserves to be- Wait, oh, I went to the wrong one. Notice! Fish-looking thing. This is- Well, doesn't seem like anyone's home. This is actually Undyne's house. Just right here in the middle of- Of the here. What else do you describe it as? What? 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 It's a living. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Whatever, Toby Fox will word as he does. He's like the anti-Shakespeare. Well, shake- Well- Mm, he's like the anti peril Shakespeare. He's basically like, they both are very good wordsmiths, except Toby more screws with words, while Shakespeare also screws with him, but tries to make it more grammatically, like, I don't know, correct or something that way. But now we get some small little jingles that are Napstablook's theme, and they are great. But yeah, we appeared. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, it's it's not much, but make yourself at home. Well, I love your home, so don't don't you dare don't you dare say that here. Wait, what do, what do we got? Okay. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it sometimes. Is it the same show as Papyrus, the MTT brand show of whatever? The CD is labeled Spook Tunes. I want to play. It. Yeah, let's get it on there. Jazzy. It's kind of just a fun little jingle. It's it's nice. It's it's so simple and yet just so fun and fitting for a ghosty bro who like watch well, it here. Let's go talk to him. Oh, a classic spoop tune. They don't make songs like this anymore. Is it well? Well, he okay. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Okay, doesn't it? Wait. Okay, I swear he has more dialogue. The computer's internet browser. Blah 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 blah. Didn't. Okay. Oh okay. Dang damn it! I swear, there's more to this. Basically, he talks about like being a musician, I think, and like just playing around with songs or something. But yeah, he just he he plays around with music, which is what I was gonna say. Is like he this is his or something. I don't know. Either way, but we have more. This CD is labeled Spook Wave. Yes, I will play it. It's the same exact song, but now what? I I might be able to replicate this through uh, my editor. You know what? Let's give it a shot, real quick. It's just a repeating loop, so we can stop it, but... With this segment right after here, let's see if using my editing and uh, audio tools in my so editing software, can I recreate that kind of effect? Maybe not the same, like, tremolo, because it moves back and forth from your left ear to your right ear, but I can might be able to create that, that resonance effect or whatever it is. Either way, so we got one more tune. This is... Okay, this one's Gouladay. Wait, Gouladay music? It's like Jingle Bells. But, not, not Jingle Bells, definitely not Jingle Bells. It's a spider web. Good for the spider web. There's a flyer for a bake cell in it. Nice. 
Alright, I'm sorry, Spooktoon. That is enough of you. I'm sorry, the, the music's too spooky for me, man. Captain Nap Spook, you're scaring me. Alright, I think we got, like, one more thing that, uh, interact with. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. That, 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 that doesn't even open the fridge, because he's a ghost. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yes. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You face right through it, because, oh. Never mind. Absolutely. Besides the music in the background. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Absolutely. No! Oh my god. While, like, I got so excited that I, I flicked the button. No, 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 no. I'm gonna lie on the ground and feel like garbage, okay? So, great meal, I would like, I like to f lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yes, absolutely. Okay, okay, follow my lead. Perfect, it's so beautiful. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. Yeah, that's sort of how lying down, well, not really, but in the game, I guess it is. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. So we just lay here, and we feel like garbage, but also we feel at peace, because here we are. Just two beings in the universe, sitting down and enjoying ourselves. And then... <laughs> and then we just get visions of the cosmos. Then we just get to see the world for what it truly is. Which I guess is kind of nice. It does make you wonder what was in that ghost sandwich, but... Okay, I don't know if this, like, just ends if you, um, like, after a certain amount of time, or if I just don't move. Like, it'll stay like this, because this... It's honestly kind of calming. Dang, it is really calming. Just watching, like, all the sparkles move and just... Oh, I, I have one to join them. I have one to lay down and join them. But I, you probably won't be... I'll probably cause more chaos. And that'll, that'll solve by doing this. But that was absolutely wonderful. I enjoyed doing that. Thank you. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Aw, Napsbook, can I give you a hug? Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. Good for you, buddy. You're doing well. So here's a little secret, I think. All right, so this t CD is labeled Spook Tunes. So if we turn this one on, so you play, yeah, funky tunes. Now if we go out here, and I don't know if this works. There we go, all right. So we got a team up, and I sort of just stop, and look at their eyes. What the heck is that music? I, I don't know, dude, but it's spooking me out, wink. This is worse than Shiren. Ow! It hurts. No way. Shiren is way less scary. Is that a good thing? Like, scary, but good at music? Or, I don't know. Wink. If you're so scared, why do you keep winking? These are winks of fear. Forget it. This beat is too filthy. <laughs> Wash. Wait, don't leave me. Is this creepy music my punishment for being creepy? Wink. Please stop. I'll never creep again. Wow. <laughs> Wink. Ah, uh, those fun little secrets are the greatest. Alright, so if I leave, does it change again? Or does it... Okay, it does. So I was wondering, like, is this just the music for the rest of the game? There is a way back here. So if we go here, then we get Sans theme, apparently. But, now it's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. Well, Toriel did that with her snail pie stuff. <gasps> Napstock's black. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So, so snaileth. Snaileth. Sambayu. What? Okay. I've been long overdue for a second house. Oh. Is he a billionaire? I don't know. The snail is counting dollar bills. Why? I don't know. But here's Naps' book. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean... Welcome to Block Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Who would be that customer? Maybe Toriel? She had something of snails. She had a bucket of snails in her room. So, some hairy guy that shows up once a month. The king? Well, I mean, we don't actually know what the- We don't- We don't know what the king looks like. That's right. We don't know what he looks like, so we can't, we can't, we can't make assumptions like that. Right, do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if you're the yellow snail wins, you win. It's tension. Oh wait, I 
Nope, I, I'm sorry, okay, oh. Okay, wait, no, don't go, I, I have to do it in his voice. Do you wanna play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. There was snail, snails will race, and this snail, yellow snail wins, you win. It's time to play, yes. Okay, press the A button repeatedly to encourage yourself. Let's go, three, two, one! Let's go, go buddy, go! 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 <laughs> you move slower, I'm sorry! I need you to move, buddy! <laughs> Please, the determination. Uh oh, I killed him. I killed him. I just straight up killed him. He's dead. Oh wow. I did kill him. I didn't mean to. Uh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Uh, all right. So we can, can, yeah, we can play again. All right. Uh, we can blah blah blah. Thunder snail. Uh, Tenji. Yes. Yeah, so let's do it. Okay. Press, I am not gonna press it at all and see if the Sunder Snout can win. Because, like, every time it has to pause to hear your encouragement, so, like, we'll just see how well the Thunder Snout can do it on its own. I don't think it can win, and I don't know if how much your encouragement actually gives it a boost, but he's doing pretty well for himself. I mean, he may not win, but at least he won't come in dead third. And by dead third, I mean, he's still gonna come in third, but just not, not, like, not like extreme third. Not so last that, you know, he's not, it doesn't even like, it doesn't even have a life anymore. It's just, it's worth it for this music. It the 10 G every time, it's worth it. And also, I'm supporting Blookie's uh, family business. And again, I don't know what a ghost buys with money, but, oh, uh, you both tried your best, but the snail looked discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. Uh, so yeah, I don't think you can play it. Oh, wait, I can play it again? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm sure nothing. I, I, I don't think there's any way to win. Maybe you could hack the game and get a twin and see if Toby Fox put any secret things for a hacker. But okay, North Blook Acres, East Hotland. E oh, Co Temi Village? Question mark. I do. We are going to go to the Temi Village. It's a fun place, a weird place, but it's worth seeing. What's this again? Oh, so this is an important guy. So first, th this guy. Okay, well there, you've got some neat junk for sale. Or I've got some neat junk for sale, okay? So he will sell stuff. So, here is another thing. Here is another little uh, item, we will say. So, notice, this is, uh, or well, let's, let's, let's just get this straight here. These are two different items, cloudy glasses and torn glass notebooks. In the last episode, I talked about how there are always those paired items. There's the toy knife and the faded ribbon that we got at the beginning of the game. There was a Benly bandana and uh, a glove. I forget what it's called. G good glove at um, in Snowden. And then in this in this area, we've also found ballet shoes and a ballet tutu. So each of these has a pair, a defense and attack item. I'll talk more about that later, but I am actually going to buy the, uh, Tor Notebook, because, although, well, okay, we're not going to be doing any attacking, so the attack stats doesn't matter, but it does give us invincibility longer, so that is great, but, uh, we'll do that later. Be careful out there, okay? Oh, I need to give him a voice. He's a scraggly old turtle. Oh, are there? I've got some neat junk for sale. So we're going to buy that Tor Notebook. Thank you. All right, thanks. Why? 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 Okay. Now we get to talk to him. Anything you want to know? About yourself, I've been around a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. So this guy is from, or well, maybe he'll tell you. I, I've never actually really interacted with him, but like he's from be back before. Like he he was in the war and everything. So I don't. I really would like to know how long this has all been taking place. Like how long the monsters have been underground. How long between when each human fall. We haven't really discussed that, whatever, it's fine. But, um, how long between just everything, I mean, I, I've been hinting at it this whole time. This is not the first time Toriel has greeted a human. You're the first human to come here in a long time. There are others before us, whatever. Um, uh, studying history, sure is blah 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 blah. <laughs> Alright, that emblem. Eh, you don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Room. Hmm. This game was made before the other game. It's kind of cool how that ended up turning out, but... The emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Wah! Great name, huh? It's, it's as I always say. 
Oh, King Fluffy Beans can't name for beans. Or Fluffy Buns, but... Oh, Emlyn... Oh! New dialogue. Okay. Emlyn's meaning... That Emlyn actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. I haven't missed any dialogue things, because th those little those little dialogue boxes throughout the waterfall area and these, this just general area tell like the whole story of this whole thing, but the prophecy, yeah. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will defend from above and bring us freedom. I'm gonna attempt it, buddy. Will I work? I don't know. Lately, people have been talking, uh, taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death, a harboring of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. My opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> That's interesting, though. I mean, anger of death, genocide, <clears throat> Uh, King Fluffybun sees a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. I love everyone's description of him. If you keep walking around long enough, we'll pro you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Why do I call him Dreamer Fluffybones? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll remember by then. <gasps> oh, I didn't know that actually happened. Wait, no, I want to talk more, Daniel. I'll come back. But I, I, I didn't actually know that, so that's, I, I do want to come back now, right? But on that, on that, yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through, through getting determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the royal guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just, just like you. I'd watch her back, kid, and buy some items. It might save your hide. Well, thank you. All right, well, I did, I did, I bought some items, so... Can't say it didn't. Alright, so that was a nice chat. I have I have actually never really looked into that guy, so that was kinda of fun to see him for more than I thought or well than I knew he was. <gasps> more signs! Okay, let's go. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives. We surrendered to the humans. Seven of the greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. Wah wah wah. Okay. There is only one way to reverse this spell. A huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks the barrier. It will be destroyed. Seven human mages started the thing. The po that same power has to end it. So, okay, I'm checking the waterfall. I don't see anything fire. I don't see any cameras. Or I'm not getting any feedback from the game. But, but this curse and place has no entrances or exits. There's no way a human could come here. <laughs> Oops! I may be here. I, I, do, I don't know how I got here, man. We will, be, we will remain trapped down here forever. That's not the voice I originally gave, whatever these dialogue boxes are. But, it's fine. <gasps> A battle! Oh, it's Special Enemy Tammy! Ta er, I don't know how to do this. Uh... Talk. You say hello to Tammy. Oi! I am Kimmy! Okay, oh crap! Oh no! Oh no, no, Tammy, Tammy! Tammy! <laughs> Jeez, Tammy vibrates intensely. Uh, if you wait here long enough, I'm pretty sure her face vibrates off her character. Alright, Temmie. Oh, wait. Yeah. Ooh, let's just check. Temmie, rated 10 out of 10. Loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. Oh, yeah. I'm d Okay, same deal. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, Temmie! Okay, Temmie's good. There you go. Temmie <laughs> just does that die pose. I love Temmie. Alright, so now, that is just a special sample of Temmie's. We have a whole other. We have ten other problems with ten. Dang that. Sans infected me. I blame it. I blame it on him. It's his fault. But now, uh, we now have this little. Okay, real quick. Wiggle your hips. Suddenly. Uh, what? 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 I didn't even remember this happened. Uh oh. Ow. Finally. Okay, that was scary. I did not know that happened. But so this is a, just a little puzzle here. So we go here. There's nothing there. Walk right back down. And we've made it to a nightmarish place. Welcome, friends, to Temmie Village. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting rhyme. Oi, welcome to Temmie, Tem Village. Oi, I'm Temmie, and this is my friend, Temmie. Okay. Oi, I'm Temmie, and this is my friend, Temmie. Oi, I'm Temmie, don't forget my friend. Oi, I'm Bob. <laughs> 
It's so stupid and I love it! Okay, stop! You feel something. You're filled with determination. Yeah, Demi Village! Alright, there's... Okay, real quick. So we got... Oh, wah, 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 humans. Cha-cha. Cool! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. Tem, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tem, proud parent. Wait, no, no, no. I, I wait. You're ruining the punchline, Tem. All right, there you go. It's a hard boiled egg. There's, it's not hatching. It's not hatching. P Tem, whoa, oh, human, allergic to Tem. That okay? Tem understand. Tem, also allergic to Tem. That's gonna create some problems, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, feeling of being washed. <laughs> so stupid. Mushroom dance. Again, this song also isn't on the uh the the soundtrack. So what the heck? All right, mushroom dance, mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? <sighs> Symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my hyphae. My hy. Mm. It's a big word. I'm gonna need a dictionary definition for that sucker. Okay, each of the branching filaments that make up the mycelium of a fungus. Great. That makes no sense. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but last to no avail. Well, I did not need to hear that, but you know what? I appreciate whatever that was anyways. Okay, we got a statue, or a statue of Tim. Very famous. Vowie. Alright, so, uh, do we got more signs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, you should check Tem Shop. Oh, wait, there was a. Wait, you should check out Tem Shop. Alright, so. We have some stuff to do with this. So, if we put all this stuff in here, but keep the dog residue. Now, if we go here, we get an entirely different and stupid song. It's, well, actually, it's the dog song, but just with. Temmy sounds, is what I'm gonna call that. Alright. Oi, welcome to the Tem Shop. Alright, let's. <laughs> Alright, oi, I'm Temmy. Say hello. Oi, I'm Temmy. About yourself. Oi! I'm Tammy! Tammy history. Us Tams have a deep history. <laughs> Nothing else. Yeah, yeah, go to Tem shop. Okay. <laughs> so stupid. I buy it. So we can get a Tem Flake, and then a Tem Flake on sale, and then a Tem Flake expensive. I'm gonna go for the original, and I don't actually know what this does. So, real quick, let's just. Okay, item, Tem Flake. Info. Demi flakes, healed to a jet feet. It's just torn up pieces of colored construction paper. Slightly. Wait, no, no, no. I'm slightly scared to see what happens. You eat the Temi flakes. The HP was maxed out. Oh, wait, that's right. That actually. Well, I guess that does actually work. Because I, I was at, I was at like, or well, yeah. I said he hit full HP. I thought like that went from like 1 to 20. Like, what? <laughs> Maybe I should buy more of these things. All right. Um, so now. A little thing. So, we got the- well, there is one more option. Pay for Tim College. Tim pursue higher education. But, we cannot pay for it. However, there is one option. We do have a slight cheat up our sleeve. We take here. We, you, we, well, let's check this. Dog residue, dog item. Dog shaped husk shed from a dog's car. Tommy Fox, you've got to be kidding me. Alright, let's do this again. No, it was already lair, as if someone probably had licked up some of these words with me before. Okay. The hard upper shell of a turtle crate, crustacean, or an accurate. Okay. I guess that makes no sense, but you know, whatever. I won't, I won't judge. Alright, so. Now that we have in, we, now that we have increased the item, let's use it. Use the dog residue. The rest of your inventory filled up with dog residue. So now look here. A lot of dog residue and salad. I forget this is dog salad. He heals HP. Blah blah blah. Recovers HP. Hit pools. So we may use that at some point, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. But uh, let's go sell. So wait, wait. Let's see. Uh, I think. She does have a line of dog, so dog was it? Whoa! You got a dog with the tooth? Mmm. I gotta have that dog with the tooth, but I gotta pay for college. Mmm. Tem always wanted dog with the tooth. Tem buy dog with for two day. Uh, yeah. There you go. So now, if we keep selling this stuff, what happens? We won't know until we sell it all. So, oh. I did it wrong! So what you're supposed to do is infinitely sell this, that way you can get enough money to uh, buy a Tem College. 
I forgot to do that. There we go. That is enough. I'm done. I'm putting the dog residue away in there, and I'm uh, there. All right. We made it after literally reproducing an item from one item, completing mitosis with items, and selling it to this poor, uh, or and buy or having this dog buy this dog buy it from us or dog cat what it what is Tammy buy it from us. We are now going to buy their college. So basically, basically we just they had the money to pay for college, and we finally just by giving it to them by taking their money and giving it back to them. In a form of college, they finally actually went to college. Pay for Tem College! Yay! Whoa! That's a lot of mons! Can Tem really accept? Of course you can. Okay, stay away from you. Tem go to college and make you proud! Well, actually, 200 and something of it were mine, so. Uh oh. You do need a face to go to college. I'm sorry. You also need time to go to college, and you brought me here. And now you just have a, one of the hats. Tem back from Cool, cool Egg. Tem learn many things. Learn to sell new items. Yay! So you can't now buy Temi armor. So makes battles too easy. I cannot buy that though. So let's see. Sell. All right. No more item. Let's talk about yeah about Temi armor. Temi armor are so good. Any battle become an easy victories. But hmm. Tem think if you use armors, battles wouldn't be a challenge anymore. But Tem have a solution. Solution. Tem will offer a scholarship. <laughs> You lose a lot of battles, Tim will lower the price. Okay, so if you get to a tough battle and feel frustrated, you can buy Tim armor as last resort. But Tim armor is so good, promise to only buy if you really need it. Okay, let's just check real quick. Okay, no, there is no discount yet. And there's, okay, so I was gonna say, I've lost enough battles that I wouldn't be surprised that this is like, we'll give it to you. And again, I lost even more the first time I played this. So, I'm just gonna take every well i guess all the items that are actually useful that i can eat so i mean actually here no there are a few items that i don't want to use because these are important so i'm gonna put the dog residue because you can't eat dog salad it's technically garbage though so i wouldn't recommend it but like it's it it is a food source technically so that 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 is something i'll just bring with I'll bring the dog residue and have an open space and for that. So, now I go through here, all the mushrooms are luckily still lit up, otherwise that would be kind of annoying to deal with. But, we have all the mushrooms, and there's that path now so we can find our way back to Tummy place easily. Now that is the Tummy Village. I spent a long time there. Oh, it's this room. Uh-oh, I don't like this room. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals now. Okay, so, we have to keep these lanterns lit because that keeps the path lit, so I have to be careful of the path. And also, I probably should go back for a heal, or for a determination hotspot, because, I mean, I'm low- Oh, no. Okay, can I just shoo him? Well, I want to be nice to him, so I'm not, but, like, still, all right, let's go. Oh. I could just leave. I'm a flea. Okay, there we go. You ran away with zero XP, so I just- I naturally- so I got money. I, I didn't want to do that because, like, I, I'd rather help every guy, but I, I didn't want to have to use any more healing items and it was already hard enough, so I just decided not. I'll just... Uh, yeah, that is something you can do. I don't think it affects the outcome. I'm sorry, Mr. N, that I couldn't give you the flex contest of your life. And yeah, I, I do sincerely apologize, but there are some things that I don't have the HP for or the time to go and deal with. So, sorry, uh... What if I go back this way? Okay, okay. Very dark, very spooks. Not a good place to be at any time. Anything? Hello? Is there a camera in the bushes? No, there's not. But there is. An echo flower. Behind you. That's scary. That's very scary. Please, undine. Undine, don't kill me! Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understood, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, 
or I'll tear it from your body. Ah, 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 don't, 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 please no. Ah, thank you. Undyne, I'll help you fight. Mm, 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 mm. Yo, you did it. Undyne is right in front of you. You've got front row seats to, uh, seats to her fight. Uh, mm, mm. Wait, who's she fighting? Uh, uh, I, hey, you aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? Save by Monster Kid. And then, wait, if we check the Echo Flower. Yeah, there you go. It just repeats everything it last to I should say something. I should say something fun. Like, uh, you are a doofus. I don't know, whatever. You hear a buffering conversation. All right, hmm. If I say, oh, so this is a continuation from the thing before. It's just been so long. I mean, this is like, this conversation has gone between two videos, so it's hard to keep up with it. If I say your wish, you promise you won't laugh at me. You hear a Okay, blah, blah, blah. Of course I won't laugh. So, then. Here, someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around, that's my wish. So, under, this entire cavern, uh, cavern is basically under that one, uh, that one thing. This, this Mount Abbott. You hear a laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Yeah, bro. You hear a lot of uh, passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. That's so sweet. I have it. There is a prophecy. So this is... These things are so split up, it's confusing me. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return, and the underground will go empty. Whether with... Do I kill them all, or something else? I don't know. But, here we are. And this... This is actually... It looks kind of cool, all this dialogue and stuff. Yo! Yep, it's Monster Kid, it's Monster Kid, it's great old, great old Monster Kid. How you doing, Monster Kid? Boo! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, I was just waiting every time. Yo, I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're, you're a human, right? Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undy told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that means, uh, makes us enemies or something. But I, I, I kind of think of that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you, please. Absolutely not. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm, I'm such a turd. Man, I, I'm, I'm gonna go home now. You do that, buddy. You go home and you snuggle with your parents and you tell them the shy for running off, buddy. Be careful. Yo, wait. Help! I trip. And he doesn't have arms, so he can't pull himself back up. And there's Undyne. No, I call that I can save the human first. This is, you You have nothing. Oh, wait, I did it. Okay, there you go. Nice. So, yeah. And then, one good act of kindness always sparks on that. Yeah. Yo, dude, if, if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. Yeah. Oh, back away, Undyne. Back away. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, now that's cool. You save someone and they save you. She, She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I really should go home. But my parents are worried sick about me. Yeah, he's from, I guess, um, Snowden. So, like, they're totally worried sick, right? Later, dude. Yeah, I'd like to go back and visit Monster Kid if we can. I don't, I don't know if you guys can, but... Alright, so now we transition into a slightly different area. Yes, yes, we do. We are now here. Whatever here is. And looking up upon, I guess this is like a mountain or like a jagged cavern thing. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. So that's what I'm saying. Six humans have come down here, and six humans have, well, perished. <laughs> how to put this lightly? How to, how to, you know, how to put this on a, on a good note? But, yeah, they're, they're dead. That's why, that, that's why Toriel's like, every human that comes here falls into the same trap. They come, they leave, they die. Through your seventh and final foil, this blah, 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 this world will be your is fused, however, as it, as it is customary for those who make it this, thus, this far. I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. Dot. No, you know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Yeah! <laughs> Wait, is that Nya or I, I don't know how to pronounce that? It's a G next to it. 
What does that mean? Yeah! It's Undyne with a great thing. You! You're, you're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alphys' history books make me think you cool. With their giant robots and flowery swords. And... So this is basically President. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two chew stick. Your wimpy goody two. Wait, the stick I had in my hand? Wait, what did I do? Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. Oh, okay, that's what she meant. All right. You know what? I would be more valuable to everyone if you were dead. Uh, technically, yeah. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and freedom. Why not? Like, well, on one hand, I want to help you. On the other hand, I don't want to die. All right, now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When someone, everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you, blah, 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 blah. oh, crap. I'll show you what it means to have everyone's dreams. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> All right, well, there's not much to get ready. Actually, well, there is. Okay, let's go. Yeah, build with determination. Now let's just go item. Let's use the dog. Save dog. This dog room. The rest of your inventory filled up with dog. So now we have dog salad, which is nice because that is technically an edible. But now, well, we should save. Now we are ready. It's still level one. Let's go fight some undying. Or let's go fight a fish, I guess, is what I should say. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come! Dun. All right. And now, a different kind of heart. Just like Papyrus can turn us blue, Undyne can now make us green. All right. Yes, theme songs. Undyne attacks. So, there's, uh, well, uh, Undyne. First, let's check. 50 attack, defense 50. The heroine then never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. Red. You won't last a second against me. All right, let's do this. Bam, bam, and nah, not that hard. <laughs> okay. Unless my can, unless my controller goes. Undyne bounces in face to me. I'm gonna plead. You told Undyne you don't want to fight, but nothing. Else. Not bad. Then how about this? All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. How did I already screw it up? Okay, whatever. Undyne points heroically towards the sky like Alexander. All right, spare. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. I don't, I don't know if this is quite the right voice. Undyne is something of a tomboy, so I, I don't know what kind of voice to give that. Wait. Undyne Sue Blaya says a huge boulder just because you can. Good for you. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. Alright, alright, uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no! Oh, I forgot about the dangers with playing with a joystick. It's kind of weird. Because if you shift too, one, too much one way, it'll just do something wrong. It smells like sushi. Well, alright, I won't let you snatch it away from us. To do all these fights, just have random smells and stuff, I guess. That's what Toby Fox was going for. Alright, but, but points for really towards the sky. Yeah! Enough warming up. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Please, okay, I need to remember how to do this. Oh! We're red now. So we can flee, but I want to try something. What if I keep sparing you mercy? Ha! <sighs> I still can't believe you want to spare me. Yeah, I want you to live a happy life in a world full of butterflies. Another thing, Undyne draws her fingers against her neck like you're dead, son. All right, let's spare again. But even if I spared, oh no, I skipped it. All right, even if I spared you, I don't know what you said. Uh, what? Ah, uh, now I'm free. Okay. Let's listen patiently. No human has ever made it past Asgore, so basically, even if we made it past her, there's no guarantee. But I expect, honestly, killing you is sort of something of a favor, is probably what you say. I'm sorry, I keep skipping it. Alright. I think I can go another time without healing. Dot dot dot. Alright, let's go. Bam bam bam. Bam 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 bam. bam. Okay, let's, uh, let's just do it. Let's just go for it. So, that might be too much, actually. So let's just go. See. Yeah, let's just go. See. I'm doing the CT. Your speed boosts. Wow. It doesn't help in a fight where I can't move. Stop. Stop being so darn resilient. Yeah, I, I have to. I have to be a little bit lean with this and kind of just uh, block out a few things. But uh, yeah. Anyway. But we just won't discuss that. Ah, ha, ha, my brain doesn't work fast enough for this. 
Ah! Okay. I should be able to handle it next to that. Right. M9 Mountain is amazing. What the heck are humans made out of? Again, I I have to take I have to be careful around Undyne. Undyne likes to. She has a very way of she likes to speak how she wants. Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Okay, spare again. Anyone else would be dead by now. Yeah, I'm not anyone else though. I am either an angel of death or an angel of I'm gonna help you. When I end up being, well, we'll never know. CT, uh, you drink the CTs because Nafus told me humans were determined. Yeah, well, I, aren't you determined too? Don't you deserve to be determined too? Is that what you're gonna say? I see now what she meant by that. Yeah, we're pretty dang determined about some things. If we don't care about something, then we're fine. But I'm determined too. Yes, you are undying. Some monsters can't have determination. There's something like, uh, monsters can't have as much determination purely because they just don't have physical mastery. Determined to end this right now. No, 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 Please stop. All right, balance is evasion. Leave right now. Right, let's go. Ow, ow. <laughs> I completely forgot how to do this. All right, uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What to use? Uh, let's just go for the same one. Yeah, there we go. All right, so HP was maxed out. Let's have right now. All right, let's go. No, 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 no. All right, please. I'm done. Let's, let's be careful. Uh, uh. Bam, 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 Oh, I moved. I didn't even need a move. Just a finger against her neck. Nah, die already, you little brat. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Undyne, please, please don't make me. Why? Undyne, why? Undyne, why? All right, hold her fist in front of her hand and shakes her hand. Spare. I will never take mercy from the likes of you. Oh, wait, I'm probably supposed to skate now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, it's, it's harder, it's harder, it's harder. I can go again. Undyne's eyes dart around to see if this is a prank. It's not. You will never spare me! Alright, let's see. Maybe once your dialogue goes silent, we'll finally not keep doing this, but for now, I don't want to keep staying. Alright, real quick. Let's eat the jaw. Sal, there you go. So I got tennis to- oh, fried tennis ball. So that actually was good. You'll never escape from me. Right. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, oh wait, I'm supposed to escape from one time. Yeah, that probably ah, ha. Okay. Uh, run, run, <laughs> get out of there. I'm sorry, I tried to spare you, but you wouldn't let me. Dork, no, I'm dying. Alright, so I can pretty much just stay the same. Stop running away. So I don't- I- I can- I can keep just fleeing now. I'm sorry. I don't want to do this, but you're like actually after me. Alright, welcome. Reed has her too hot land. Yeah, ring. Hey, what's up? Oh, I have to do this voice again. I was just thinking. You, me, and. Oh, crap, no! Undyne should all meet up. I think you would make great pounds. Let's meet up at her house up later. So, yeah, he just says, Why, me, Undyne, and you should all meet up. Alright, okay, click. Get out of there, no! Dang it, alright, Undyne, why? Come back here, you little punk! Alright, no! Meow! I'm out of here! Please, Undyne, just let me, just accept my mercy! Please, mercy! Alright, yes, and hands! Yes! <laughs> that angry look, yeah. It's beautiful, alright. No! Undyne, I don't think it's good to wear metal armor in very hot temperatures. Armor, so hot. But I can't give up. No, Undyne. No. <laughs> you good? She looks dry. Well, luckily there's a random water. Yes, yeah, it's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. Yes. Take a cup of water. Undyne, quench your thirst. Here's a Gatorade. Not sponsored. Give Undyne the water. There, there we go. There you go, buddy. Feel better. There you go. Are, are you gonna? Are you gonna get up? Bam. Are you gonna... You gonna attack me? I saved your life, technically, maybe. I hope I did, at least. And like that, she leaves us be. Thank you, Undyne, for that. Wait, okay, real quick. I don't think... No, Sans is gone. Dang it. I wanted to talk to him. Oh, and there's a person, though. I didn't talk to... Uh-oh. I think this person was also in that quieter, but I didn't talk to them. Okay, 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 okay. 
I was thirsty, so I came here from the waterfall to get a drink. You idiot. You... Whatever. Well, I, I'm thirsty, too. I, I actually am thirsty, so I want this glass of water. And the water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated, too. That's how hot it is. But, with that there, seeing such a strange lab... Well, okay, real quick. Let's just... Okay, whatever. Return over here. If we walk over here, there's a nice old laboratory. But, that concludes it now that we have undyne's fight i am kind of sectioning this off that way i that way each of like the very important events in this in this uh game happen in like separate episodes that way i can just sort of focus on each one instead of like mashing them all together but thank you there that this was fun and i see the more you spare people these people are good people they 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 do attack you while you may not if you're at least a pacifist but they all have their reasons. They want to be free. They've been trapped under here. You are literally standing in everyone's ways and dreams. So, if you were to take a run that per se didn't, well, didn't free anyone by killing them, or but also didn't actually progress them by not giving them your soul, but not finding an alternate solution, then, well, you've basically just doomed them, is what you've done. But... That is gonna have to be it for that for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. I totally am, and I'm gonna keep recording it no matter how many people are watching it. But if you do like it, do show your support, because then I'll just feel even more motivated. But anyways, if you liked it, do scrub the like, the comments, and share, and I'll see you guys all next episode. Hey, Squid Cat out.